Ja Morant. Ja Morant. I just heard a story that I just have to tell you what's on my mind, what's on my heart in regards to Ja Morant, point guard, shooting guard for the Memphis Grizzlies. For the second time in around about, I believe, four months, another video has appeared with him flashing a gun again. And I ask myself the question, why is this happening again? Why does he put himself in a situation like this again? I had to watch a documentary going back to how he grew up in South Carolina. I kind of put some things into context. Of how do we get to this point? I'm going to give you my thoughts. And first and foremost, for those that are subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, like, share. I want to make sure that I stay relevant in regards to giving you the content that I believe that's going to have some exposure as far as what's going on in the world. And I'm going to talk to you about this situation, which is it's kind of hurting me right back a lot right now because I'm a black man living in America. And one thing about it is it's not about racists and those types of things, but growing up how I grew up. There's a lot of strikes that were against me, a lot of strikes that were against, I believe, that were against black men or black people in general. But why would you put yourself in a situation where you know for a fact that it's going to lead to something bad? On one hand, you do something good. On the other hand, you do something bad. We all have decisions that we have to make. So why are we making decisions, Mr. Moran, that's leading us down a bad path, that's leading us down a dark path, that's leading us down to a path of, of destruction? I'm talking about a young man, maybe 23, maybe 24, maybe 25 years old, Murray State College graduate, came into the NBA. Now you're in the NBA and you worked hard. I, I listened to a story about his dad had to give up his hoop dreams, giving up his basketball dreams in order to make sure he does more for his son. Had to go to work for his son. And now he was hard on his son. Hard on his son, wanting him to succeed and wanting him to achieve the best of the best of life. Giving him those tough lessons. But what happened along the way? Who are we surrounding ourselves with? Not just job, but, but just us in general. Who are we surrounding ourselves with? Who are in our circles? All the people that's in our circles are really for us or are they against us? Too many people probably want handouts. They know this young man is making a lot of money, but there's no excuse. Think, uh, please, if someone knows Mr. Morant, Please make sure that this video goes out to him. This video goes out to him because I want him to hear from someone from the sidelines, literally, that's watching this whole thing play out. But I always say this, where there's smoke, there's fire. So we see what's bubbling on the surface. We see what's happening on the surface, but there's probably a lot of things that's happening behind the scenes that we don't see that we'll never see. So I say to anybody out here that's watching this video and anybody out there that's listening right now, please be smart about your decision making. Please think before you act and think before you react. Because when it comes down to the decisions that we make, we can't change them. We can't change the past, but we do have the present and we can kind of Predict, not predict, but we can kind of see where we're going in the future by what we're doing in this present moment. So let's 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 take a step back. Let's take a step back at what I'm thinking that that's actually happening to John Moran or going back to the childhood. Leave it all on the floor. I was a basketball coach when I was in the Marine Corps. I always taught my team, leave everything on the floor. Your heart, your soul, your your gut into it. Just just do it. But that's on the floor. But what happens off the floor? I believe this young man has the talent like no other. 
could be the face of the NBA, could be the next whatever, Michael Jordan or wherever you want to call it, or the first John Morant could jump out the gym, could go out there and do amazing things on the court. But what about off the court? What are we doing off the court? I don't know if he has children. That could be another dynamic. I really don't know if he has children. But say, for instance, and maybe I should have done my research on this. Say, for instance, that he does have children. He has a son. He has a daughter. He has people. I mean, young people looking at him, looking up to him. What type of example are we leaving? Are we leading by example? What kind of example are we putting out there for our young men and women? Or just people that his age, the, the Generation Zs that are actually watching. What kind of example are we putting out there knowing that if someone does something bad, and I'm coming from South Carolina, I could have got caught up in the drug game. I could have got caught up in the gangs. But I had a group of people, my family, and, and some close friends that were around me that pumped their positivity in my life and told me to come inside the house before the streetlight come on. Is someone telling John Moran to come inside the house before the street life gets him? I'm not saying he's in the street life, but if you're waving guns and, the, and, and social media, everybody has a camera. Every, so you know the spotlight is already on you. The spotlight was on you whenever you, I, I believe, like early this year when he had the instance with the first gun. And now you got the second gun. So if you know the cameras were on you with the first gun, more than likely the camera is going to be on you for the second gun. So Mr. John Moran, please wake up. Wake up and know that you're headed down the road of self-destruction. You're headed down a bad path. Who are you using it on Surround yourself. This is for job. Anybody's watching. If you have comments, you want to leave it here. Commentary, please put it in here because I, I want to. I want to hear your take on this. Surround yourself with those that are positive, uplifted, encouraging you to do the right thing, not to get caught up in the wrong thing. Not to get caught up in the madness. Not to get caught up in the hype. Not to get caught up in that life. Because I've seen many people, my cousins, nephews, a lot of people that I know that got caught up in that life. And they're not here today. I'm praying for my young brother. I can call him nephew. For my young yet nephew. Do the right thing. Because what happens, because you could have an, I was in the Marine Corps, you could have an accidental discharge with a gun. I don't know if it was loaded. I, I really don't know. But what if it was? Now, that's adding more things to the mix. So today is the day that I'm praying that he has, the lesson wasn't learned the first time. This, this is the second strike. He will suspend as far as I know, two games, three games or something like that. Should he be suspended? I think that's a slap. I'm just going to be real. I think that's a slap on the wrist. That's a slap on the wrist. Okay, you got suspended two, three games before or whatever. Now you got two or three games for the second offense. It should be two or three or four, ten times harsher for the second time around. I'm not in the court of law. I'm just telling you my thoughts and my gut, what I would do in this situation if I was the commissioner of basketball. A statement has to be made, or is he a moneymaker? If Ja doesn't show up to play for the Memphis Grizzlies, are they going to lose ticket sales? Probably. The NBA is a business. It's a business. But, young brother... Have a strong mind. Everybody out there, have a strong mind. Make sure that you focus on doing things positive. If you believe that it's going to be positive, 
more than likely it's going to be positive. If you feel that something's going to be negative, more than likely it's going to be negative. So are you going to do the negative or are you going to do the positive? He chose to do the negative. Now, here's the negative. Now, here are the consequences. Here's the consequences for the actions that he did. He did. I can't sit like somebody pointed a gun. I can't say somebody pointed a gun to, but somebody gave him the gun or that's his gun or wherever it is. So somebody gave him the gun or that's his gun. Now, I'm not going to stay on the gun. I'm going to stay on the lesson. Let me lean in. Here is the cold, hard truth. That young man has some mental issues. That young man is probably surrounding themselves with some negative influences. That young man didn't learn his lesson the first time around. Now you got part two. So young man, if you watch it or young men, I'm talking about the generation X to Z, not X, you know, the millennials and the generation Z. That 18 to 24, I'm talking to you, 18 to 24, 24, 35. I'm talking to you right now because I really don't want you to be a lost generation. A generation that was promising, a generation that was, had a lot of things going for them, but threw it all to the wayside. Why? Because of greed, because of Instagram followers, because of TikTok followers, because of YouTube likes, because of engagement, because of the money. Why are we doing what we're doing? There's a price to fame, fortune and fame. So what are you sacrificing? Young man, young men, young women. What are you sacrificing? To get that fame, to get that, what price are you paying? And sometimes the price is death. I don't know. I do not want anyone to go down that road ever again. So if you love this video, if you like this video, please share it to like 10,000 people. 10,000 people. I want this video. I want this video to get in the hands of John Moran. I know this video, my subscribers, thank you so much. My viewers, thank you so much. But I want this one to get in the hands of John Morant. And I'm going to close with this. And this is a message for John Morant. I know you don't know me. You probably would never, ever meet me. But I love you. I love you enough to tell you to stop surrounding yourself with potential negative influences. Do the right thing. You, you got little kids, young boys, young girls looking at you, wanting to become probably an NFL or NBA athlete, wanting to become a professional. Even if they don't become a professional in basketball, baseball, or football, or whatever it is, they want to strive because they saw your beginnings. They know that you had to go through a lot of things to get to this point. Growing up, how you grew up and went to Murray State, and when Murray State is not a big school, it's not a Duke. It's not a North Carolina. It's not a USC. It's not a UCLA. It's Murray State. So in no offense to Murray State, but it's not a big, humongous school. But you owe it to yourself. Find yourself. Stay home if you got to meditate or whatever it is. But I'm just, pray on it. Pray on it. All the lessons to life are in the Bible. I'm a man of faith. This is how I'm walking right now. If you feel the weight of the world is on your shoulders, turn to the Bible. The shield of protection. Psalm 91. Read that. Read that. Do that. Look this one up. Do that daily messages every day. Put them inside your life because I don't want your life to go down. Heal. But you're going down, but I believe you can turn it back around. But in order to turn it back around, who are you surrounding yourself with? 
And to my watchers and my listeners and my viewers right now, who are we? And that's why I have to be so cognizant of who I'm surrounding myself with. I have to be aware of who I'm surrounding myself with. Positive, uplifting, inspiring, motivated, high energy, positive vibe type of people. Surround yourself with that. So I want everybody out there to please like, comment, subscribe, leave your content down here. Leave your messages down here. Leave your comments down here because I want to hear from you because I want to put more videos out here so that way I can bring more awareness into the world with these issues that are happening in the world. To God be every bit of the glory. Continue to be blessed. Continue to stay safe and always, always do the right thing.